y'all welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren and today I'm going to go ahead and do my full review on the uh, Gourmia here the GMC 680 um, this uh, if you did watch the uh, uh, box opening of this um, you will know that it's a standalone unit um, it's a multi cooker that has a sous vide option that's why Gourmia sent it to me. They wanted me to kind of check it out. Uh, since I had two other Gourmia units and I did a review on uh, one of them so far, they uh, went ahead and sent me this to uh, try out and do a review. And I got to say, um, I'm not normally a multi cooker uh, liker because, like most things that have multiple uses, they don't really do one thing really well. They just kind of get by on the stuff that they do. Um, this is kind of similar. I do uh, like it for a second unit uh, for sous vide as far as uh, cooking uh, side items, stuff like that. I did use it to make top round in once, and um, it worked pretty well. One of the things that um, the negatives on it is that it it is kind of limited in the size, and just want to take this out and kind of show you. You know, this pan here is all you have as far as, um, you know, size-wise. Because this heats from the bottom. It's got a plate at the bottom of this in here. And uh, so this does have to sit in here. It doesn't circulate, so the, the heat comes all from the bottom. So you, you just have very limited what you can put in here. It works great if you are single or just a couple. And you're only cooking a couple steaks or, you know, smaller roast. I used it uh, pretty well for some side items, like I uh, did uh, mashed potatoes in here, did corn. Uh, I used it to cook rice and then to cook a couple other things in the uh, multi-cooker functions. And it worked pretty well for that. Um, I can't say that it didn't work good. It, it uh, worked pretty good. Um, when I did use it to cook the uh, top round steaks, I did notice that the, the temperature was off by about a degree or so, maybe a little bit, degree and a half. And I think a lot of that has to do with it not having circulation. So the water that's closer to the meat is a little cooler because the water is not circulating and moving around and the heat's all coming up from the bottom. But um, one thing I did uh, like is with this rack that's in here, uh, when you set this, set your meat in there, you have to set it on this rack because it keeps it off the bottom since the heat pretty much all comes from the bottom. You don't want your meat sitting on the bottom of this pan absorbing all the heat directly. So you do need to get this, uh, put this rack in there. The one thing I like about this rack, at least it does flip over both ways. Um, the handles on this side actually keep it up if you want to steam something. So this can actually steam um, vegetables, uh, any kind of even fish, stuff like that. If you turn this rack up like this, it gets off the, uh, off the water a lot more. Uh, so you can have that steaming up. So, like I said, I cooked rice in this. It cooks really well. Um, you just It's got a, a single function for rice. You can't adjust the temperature or anything. You just hit rice, and it actually just takes the water up to boiling and cooks it till it's done, and then uh, you shut it off and take the rice out. So that worked real well. Uh, I did use it two or three times for the sous vide. Uh, it worked good on the top rounds that I did. I don't want to say it worked bad, but I would not use this as my go-to everyday sous vide machine unless I was a somebody who lived in an apartment or had limited space and I didn't want to have uh, multiple kitchen appliances around uh, I think that's what this is good for um, it's good for like I said as a second unit if you are you know you have another uh, sous vide uh, circulator or some other source um, and you just need something to do sides in or some other other meats occasionally if you're going to use uh, this would replace a crock pot real well or any other kind of multi cooker it's not a pressure cooker so it's not wouldn't replace an instant pot but any kind of crock pot it would replace because it has you know 11 functions on here um, it's got um, you know pretty much anything a crock pot can do plus I mean this can actually you can roast a chicken in this you can bake in it you can saute um, like I said you can make rice it's got the slow cooker function like a crock pot steam because you can steam fish um, and then the sous vide function so 
Um, it does have a yogurt. You can make yogurt in this thing. I didn't do that. I'm not big into making yogurt, so I might try that someday. But it's a very good unit if you have um, limited space, you're in an apartment, it's just you know one or two of you that you're cooking for. Uh, it's a second unit for sides and stuff like that. Uh, as long as you don't you know, buy this thinking you're going to stick a, a full rack of ribs or a brisket in it, um, it's, it's very limited in the size. So. But um, for somebody who would rather have a uh, multi-cooker than a crock pot, it works great. Uh, can't beat it, like I said. Uh, highly suggested if you are um, looking for a second unit just because of the multi-functions on it. Um, but I'm, I'm impressed with it. I mean, it's got, uh, you know, a nice glass heavy-duty lid. It's got a steam, little steam release hole on the top. This um, pan... The only thing I don't like about the pan is not insulated like a crock pot is. So if you are taking this, let's say, to a, uh, uh, a potluck dinner or friend's house or for a party or something, uh, you might lose heat a little bit faster. But the inside of this seems pretty uh, insulated. So this it might hold the heat just from inside of this unit. But the pan itself is just very thin. But it is... Uh, uh, you know, it's a non-stick pan. I, when I did the top round steaks, I actually seared them in this pan because I didn't have time to fire up my grill. And one of the uh, functions of this is it says you could sear in this pan. So I did that and it worked pretty good. I mean, it only got up to like 425 as the max heat on this. So it wasn't that 600 or 700 degree hot sear, but it worked out pretty good. Um, but it's... It's light. It's not very heavy, even though, uh, like I said, it's probably lighter than my crock pot because it's not made out of the uh, ceramic that a crock pot is. Um, it does have a lot more functions than a crock pot instead of just a, you know, low, high, warm. It's got, uh, you know, 11 different functions on this. So it works pretty good for what it is. Um, one of the things I did notice is that... Um, you have to pay attention when you're setting it up for sous vide. Make sure that because when the when it, the water comes up to temperature, it only beeps. It'll give, only beep like three times. It'll beep, 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 and then it won't beep again. It'll just sit there and flash until you press the uh, start stop button again to get the timer going. So you got to pay attention if you're walking away from it and you're in another room and you don't hear that beep, beep, beep go off. It won't keep doing it. Unlike some of the uh, sous vide uh, circulators, they'll continue to beep until you actually go push the button to start the timer. So this doesn't do that. It only does the three beeps to tell you that it's up to temp. And if you don't go and hit the button again, the timer won't go. So it'll just sit there. Um, it'll be hot, but it won't, the timer won't start running down. So that's the only drawback I can see. Um, it's pretty easy to use. I mean... It's pretty much you hit the menu button until it gets to the to the function that you want. Uh, you hit the, the timer and temp, and then you hit start stop. And once the you know with sous vide, once it hits the water temperature, it'll beep the three times, and you hit the uh, start stop again, and then it'll start the countdown. So I highly recommend it for like I said a backup unit for people who want to replace their crock pot with something that does a little bit more. Uh, people that may live in an apartment, you know, or singles or couples that don't have a lot of room in their kitchen and want to kind of combine um, some of their appliances into one. I do like the racks. It does have the uh, stakeholder racks, so you can put your, you know, steaks in here when you're cooking sous vide. This rack here is a multi-rack. Uh, works really well. So I would say for the money, I think this sells for like 80, 90 bucks. Um, it's a pretty good unit. I mean, it costs about what a sous vide circulator costs right now anyway, So, and it does a lot more. So I like it. Go ahead and t check it out. Um, check them out on uh, Amazon. I have a link at the bottom uh, with a link to this. But um, highly recommend it if, you, if it's something that you're looking for. Like I said, even if you just use it as a backup and replaced your crock pot for it, highly recommend it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel so we can uh, continue to make some videos for you guys doing the sous vide and the barbecue and doing some of these reviews. And go ahead and like this video 
and we'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.